it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the 2016 Asia-Pacific Rainforest Summit. I would like to acknowledge with thanks the invaluable support provided by the Australian government in co-organizing this year's Asia-Pacific Rainforest Summit. I admire the demonstration of your commitments in attaining the common objectives of these partnerships since its inaugural summit in 2014 in Sydney, Australia. This is my first international engagement as the new Australian Minister for Environment and Energy. I'm 15 days into this job and still learning. However, I already know that conserving the great rainforests of the Asia Pacific will be critical to achieving sustainable economic development and to meeting the climate goals we have just set ourselves under the Paris Climate Change Agreement. Well, Vanuatu was part of the, uh, the first uh, negotiations for the Asia-Pacific uh, Summit and uh, we are member to it. It is important that all member countries uh, show their commitment because we cannot do it alone. The challenges that we are all facing now, it's climate change issue. Remember, when you go to the international, it's always good to have a, a region solidarity. To me, the key word of the summit is integration. First, we aspire to forest and landscape management that integrate economic, environmental and social aspirations. Secondly, the summit is a conscious effort for integrating public, private and people actors in achieving real impact. Thirdly, we seek to integrate forest and forestry issues into the mainstream of sustainable development. What's been really interesting since the Paris Agreement is that it's taken forest and landscape conservation and the sustainable management and, and parked it really in the center of the climate change discussions. Right now, in relation to Red Plus, there is no financial mechanism in place to join or to work together with private sector. So we need to create this. That's number one. And number two, uh, uh, more uh, global procurement policy who support private sectors, what are the incentives in the market? Um, we need to create that. We will not realize the full potential of forest and forestry in sustainable development unless we work across traditional institutional boundaries. Bringing together people and their expectations to find good solutions in landscapes, including forests, is therefore to me the best investment we can make for future generations.